Hello, 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 friends. Random surprise dream here. Uh, I'm going to get right into it, though. We're going to watch the uh, Nintendo Treehouse Live together with um, some Splatoon 3 info. We should be getting some stuff about um, the story mode and also some Splatfest strategies for this weekend. Um, let's, just, let's just get right into it. Oh, my gosh. I think it already started. I think we're late, but it's okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I'm in the right spot. <laughs> if we don't, it doesn't cut off for us here. That's not loading. It's not loading. Oh gosh. Work, work, refresh. <laughs> Everyone's having a good day so far. Happy. Gosh, what day is it today? Today's Thursday? This week is flying by. Oh, it's not loading. Did, did Nintendo break YouTubes? You can only get it going live. Which means we missed some stuff. That's a bummer. We can go back and watch it, I guess, at the end, hopefully. Mm -mm -mm. Let me try one more time. Hello there, Cat. Hello there, Agent 10. We're just going to cut right over. There are also probably going to be some some story spoilers. Possibly here? I doubt there'll be too much spoiler, though. You're going to pre-order next Thursday, Agent 10. Let's go. Let me know if the volume is okay. Live gameplay here. Fix myself down here, I guess. You can't hear it well? Okay, I can turn it up a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> I do have captions on as well. Make sure it's on highest quality here too. Let me turn off my music. <laughs> I'm not totally used to do this. Gummy, hello. This is going to be a short stream, by the way. <laughs> Just going to basically watch it and then get back off. But we'll be back on this afternoon with a variety stream. You just noticed something, Agent Time. What, look, yeah, if you notice anything, definitely call it on chat. Yes. I heard the word practice and I nod and agree. Practicing is good. Single player, at least what they've shown so far yesterday in some gameplay sneak peeks from some media folks and some uh, some some YouTubers who got early access. Um, it seems very similar to Splatoon 1 and 2. Hero mode, but they're only showing off, I think, early levels, so there might be stuff later in the... The ink the fuzzy Octarian shoot doesn't turn you into a ball of fuzz like the one on the map does. Ooh. Maybe this is before that happens? Well, we don't know. Like I said, these are probably early, earlier levels. But the thing that's good too is that it, the items up there respawn in. Yes. What you're going to be picking up is some armor, which helps. Oh, yes. Thank you for mentioning that, Demetrius. Yeah, you pick up armor. Yep. Ouch. Oh, good example of the armor. The <laughs> tie dye rainbowy purple pink ink is trouble. so beautiful. I hope we get it in PBs. I doubt it. But that would be so cool. <laughs> Multiplayer too. If you move super fast, people can see you under the ink. 
And if you move slower, they can't see you. So just like in story mode, if you get good at being sneaky, uh, your chances of success increase significantly. Mm, that was I'm very, very sneaky, I must say. That was great. Okay, guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I've got, uh, I've got another ready. Ready? There you go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Mission complete. Uh, and we're done with that mission. We did it. Whirling, swirling, whirling. First time clear bonus. Three. Maybe we'll have a giggle, wiggle, okay. squiggle. And there's a, a timing mechanic. I'll hand this back to you, Demetrius. Yep. Oh, so there's a bunch of replayability <laughs> with these missions. Passed it uh, through the layout. Like That's so funny. Earlier, so you can challenge yourself with maybe weapons that aren't so well suited. And then you can also time yourself. So I'm sure my time for that one was probably Hello there, Seth. amazing. Stream mode looks cool. Then, like, it does. It does. Over again and try to get a better time um, and just get better. It's always also great replayability for sure. <laughs> I feel like it's probably gonna be like Splatoon 2, where the main story is very similar, and then maybe the DLC is more intense and interesting, like Octo Expansion. Oh, but I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rainbow Splatana? Huh? Huh? What? The world that we're in and, and the events. Yeah, the Sunken Sea Scrolls, you can find them out while you're playing outside of the stages, and they provide a lot of background lore. The lore is really cool, and this whole series has really cool lore. Um, all right, so. The captions are kind of covering stuff, but I do want them on. I am going to be using one of the. For some accessibility. Splatana Stamper with Curling Bomb. It, Ooh, the Samper or Splatana class of weapons are we haven't seen that a lot of gameplay. We've seen like a second of gameplay of this, so very exciting. Ooh, that's so fun. Now, the Stamper itself, outside of having that really cool sound, um, it's more <laughs> the heavier style of Splatana class. So you're going to see Ooh. Like the, the amount of... It this looks like Octo Expansion. This looks amazing, actually. A bit more. It's really great. Um, one thing to note is you kind of have like long range, right? And then you have the short range. If I'm I was thinking when we were um, watching stuff yesterday, I'm like, I, I wish there was more like Splatoon maps that were like all indoors. I guess there's some. But even the ones that are indoors have like a huge ceiling. <laughs> It'd be cool to like fight indoors in like a more like deathmatchy thing. I think because of the third person camera, they don't do it. But. It seemed like it worked in that little space. It is a chainsaw. These little stamper things are actually super fun. If you never used one. <laughs> I really like, like, stationary stuff. Artsy crafty stuff. Hey, please play Fall Guys later. There's a new event. Ooh, what's the new event, Seth? I didn't know that. I knew there was an update the other day. Um, it's going to be a, a viewer's choice to stream later today. So It's also going to be one hour earlier than usual, 1 p.m. I got so much to do. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done this live, but I have a lot going on today. <laughs> but <laughs> I wanted to watch this anyways before this stream this afternoon, so I figure I might as well go live. Everybody could do me a favor too if you haven't already hit that thumbs up button and the like button on the stream. Come on, come on, there we go. Alright, remember you have to fall off at least twice. Kudos event. You get three thousand kudos doing challenges. Ooh, that's that's kinda nice. A lot of kudos. Especially for those people who didn't play the game before it was free to play. Like Fall Guys definitely is uh, wins a lot of those viewer's choice things. So I would expect we play it either today. If we didn't play it today, we'd probably play it on the weekend. Um, variety stream on Sunday. JT. Ready, Nick. Welcome in. How are you doing? We're checking out. Oh, this looks amazing. This 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 looks like a later miss later mission. Maybe. 
like a little bit more like a player might you could say and this looks a lot cooler than some of the other single player stuff we saw in gameplay sneak peeks yesterday the splatana looks this this chainsaw splatana looks so cool too this we're not going to get until um the ninth full release not going to be in the test fire splatfest this weekend but super cool Pass this over to Dutch. You saved the hardest Dutch? one for Dutch. He's in the lab coat, right. so Oops. he's obligated. <laughs> this is a fun part. So the next one that we have is this the test fire? No, this is a uh, uh, this is a <laughs> Nintendo Treehouse live event. They're going over some single player gameplay right now, and then they're going to be going over some Splatfest stuff a little bit later. It should be about thirty minutes. We're, we should be about halfway through here. I'm both excited I don't know how much Splatfest stuff we're going to get, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, I love the, like, um, color-separated rainbow effect they're doing, the chroma, chromatic aberration kind of effect they're doing with the rainbow stuff. Very cool, very cool. And some more go bow gameplay. We did see, watch some of this on stream yesterday, but not this level, actually. Oh, there's three of them? I don't think we knew that. I think before in the test, there was only one in the earlier gameplay footage we saw. It also looks a lot better than what it did before. Before, it was like this weird little thing that just kind of stuck there. It's hard to survive if you get hit with all three right away. Yeah, imagine. Ooh, I'm so excited for the bow now. I really love bows in games. So satisfying. Just charge it up and release it. Looks very responsive too. Much more. Re the thing I don't like about chargers is kind of like a weird delay on chargers. I feel like I, ne I could never really got the timing down, but hopefully I can figure this one out better. <laughs> what do we need? We we needed to come up with a, a Splatoon three bow based mini game. What do we call it? Rainbows. <laughs> Only ink storm and bows allowed. But there are a lot of fun things to play. Yeah, this one's challenging, but that's a good thing. And you don't have to do it if you don't. Yeah, this, this is a really fun, challenging one. All right, so I just broke those targets, and that activated the ride rail down here. And the thing about the ride rail is, it's like the title says. Hopefully, DJ Octavio isn't the main villain. Um, I think we saw a small clip of them. I'm gonna guess. Not the main villain, though. I think there's, I think there's a, a new big bad. That would be my guess, but that's just a guess. I think there was a, a small clip of DJ Octavia, though, in the direct. We did see a, a, a clip of one of the Squid Sisters in, um, I think the original reveal trailer. Or one of the trailers. It's one of them, um, with Agent 3, I think. Ooh, it both looks so fun. This looks fun. I'm pumped for this. Amazing shot. It was. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but the visuals are so nice. Like if you get a chance to look up. The colors too. Game. It looks very um. Honestly, it kind of looks like the filter I have on my camera, right? It's kind of like purpley pinky. <laughs> Nintendo stealing all my all my looks. It's okay. I know I'm an inspiration to so many. <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> the rainbows. <laughs> Their pink and purple is a little bit more like sunsetty dystopia, though. <laughs> you think you play as Agent Three? I don't, I don't, I don't want to know or spoil anything about this. Uh, the the story really in case there's people that don't want spoilers if you haven't already we got more people in here then we got likes so we can get at least a 10 like hype on this hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already 
If you're excited for Splatoon 3, excited to be here, excited for a, a happy Thursday, we're almost to the weekend. <laughs> I know it's school for some folks, probably why we don't have too many people in here at the moment. Work and school. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Bow obstacle course on rails. I love the rail stuff. Always not not always very good at it, but I try. I do my best. The charge, the, being able to to like put down those charges that you can blow up are super cool. Oh, they missed one. I've seen Dutch do this several times successfully, so yeah, he's got it. Even if he doesn't do it, this some high pressure here, live gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun though. Now I want to be like, all right, kids, it's my turn. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Do I know. I haven't been able to beat it yet. Did you beat it? I think only ten minutes supposed to be left here. Maybe this is gonna be longer than we thought it was. But it was fun though, trying it out. All right, you got it. Cool. Okay, so now we got these again. All right. I think it's. This. Those two right there. At least the sub here. I know that sometimes the weapons are different. In um. I mean, this is like a splat tri-stringer or something. But the sub here is different than the regular tri-stringer, I believe. I love these stages, though, for getting a feel for... Oh, we got it. Uh, oh, what? No! Just jump off. Let's, let's have you try one more time. Just jump off one more time. Ooh. While you start. Can you jump off? There you go. Yeah. All right, we'll do one more. Let's try You're one more time. You're giving him a four? Oh. Yeah, the regular tri-stringer in the Splatfest demo is going to be Toxic Mist and Killer Whale. We have spot bomb on this. I wonder if the regular one does the same charge thing or if it's different. Looks a little different. This charge up explosive thing looks a little different. Looks so cool though. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say I love these single player missions to kind of get a feel for each weapon, kind of see how they behave, get some ideas for how you might use it. GGX, welcome, welcome. This Seth, you're excited. Little well, Octarian, Octo Boy. And you I, I saw your message for a second there, but it looks like you deleted it. <laughs> Inkling is feeling what Agent 8 feels. Ah. <laughs> Pain, <laughs> suffering. Maybe. You're gonna get to see Splatsville today, Agent Ten. Let's go. Okay, we got it. Um, right. people were asking about that Nintendo Switch Online thing. Um, I did last night after the stream. I think it didn't happen until midnight my local time. Um, even though I, that account is set to Australia, I did get an email with a free, with a code for the Nintendo Switch Online thing. So. Folks who had trouble figuring that out, check your email. Or whatever email was set up with your account. Aw, oh, they didn't make it. <laughs> GG's. It's tough, it's tough. This is why I don't, don't play any single player Splatoon on stream. <laughs> it would just be me failing over and over again. Okay, so we're going to go to the Splatfest stuff. We actually will be coming back with some, you know, kind of a strategy segment on uh what you can do uh in the game itself um uh, so stick stick around oh they're gonna they're gonna go to another game i forget what oh that poster behind with the with the art is so cool what does everybody think oh my goodness can we rewind i wish we could this is live live. I'm surprised they didn't do like a premiere and pre-tape. That would be nicer because then we could um 10% gold points in the digital version of Splatoon 3. Mm, this music is fun. It's a whole vibe. Super excited for this too. I think we might do a live um, watch party of this thing too. 
first tournament Some of, the top finishers from this of Splatoon, 2 Inc. Splatoon 3. Will head to Seattle and compete in North I'm back then, right? I'm pretty sure I am. Splatoon 3 Invitational. Oh yeah, that's, that'll be my first day back. And we'll do PBs and we'll watch it at the same time. Yeah, it's supposed to start right at our normal stream time on the weekdays too. When I say I'm back, it's because um I'm leaving on next Monday. Oh, it's starting. Oh, maybe well, maybe this is pre-taped. I'm surprised they had to do a BRB then. And our very own Treehouse Squid Lab researcher, Dutch. Dutch. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we actually wanted to show off some of our multiplayer stuff now. Before we start, I just wanted to do a little bit of a housekeeping to just let everybody know that this is a special build that we're playing on. We're actually not going to get right into um, multiplayer. Okay. I want to show you some elements to focus on that because there's a lot of really great stuff. Some Splatfest strategies, I think, so coming up here. This game's coming out on uh, September 9th, so just a little thing to keep in mind. Losing uh, is yeah. Inkling Octoling Dance. So it's in the beta stills. Hmm. What we got first? I think we're going to show off. We got some test fire stuff. Test, yeah, test range, rather. Splash O Matic. So the the ink does look smoother coming out of the gun, like the shots in the air, but then look how chaotic and it, it is on the ground. And we should also mention that weapons come in sets in Splatoon, so you can kind of see in the upper right-hand corner, uh, I have a sub-weapon as well. In this case, that's the burst bombs. Do you think Splitgate will ever come to the Switch? I don't know. Maybe. So you can see it just kind of explodes on impact. Which is great. I'm yeah. probably like How are you doing, Dr. Wolfstar? Welcome in. Do you like Switch Splitgate? I've never tried it. No spoilers, but they find your enemy. I know some friends that like it, though. And the most exciting thing about this set for me is the crab tank. Ooh, uh, we okay, we're going to get some uh, my crab tank details. The right-hand corner is kind of shimmering there, so that means it's ready to go. So let's take a look. <laughs> Here it is. Do you are vulnerable from the bag when you're in this form? It's Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's the... There's that mode. I think there's also like a charge shot or something with it. I could be wrong. I can get that again, because the crab tank actually has two different attacks so that was the first one that's kind of like a rapid fire yeah yeah, yeah. Really has it's like more of like a well. heavy uh, artillery skill shot thing attack. too it's kind of like yeah there big shell that has an area of effect here Ooh. I really like lower damage though but one thing to know too to point out for those could be good for like clearing it out like a spot in um new multiplayer lobby uh, this is the test range side of things. So if you're wondering, like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> this is a brand new, brand new feature to use Splatoon 3. It's really, really cool. It allows you to, well, test. <laughs> I think we're going to be able to go in this test room with friends, yeah, too. Friends, and it is a big change from Splatoon At least they're ghosts. The lobby is like a physical space where you can be... Uh, this is where you're going to hang out between matches. Uh, I think we saw in the Eventually, too, we're going to get... um. Kind of like room codes, hashtags. It's not coming at release, unfortunately. But where you'll be able to... Well, I'll be able to hang out here during stream. Just by putting in a code or a hashtag. And then we can all just join matches that way rather than do the whole friend code dance. Super excited for that. Surprised they didn't show the role at all. Maybe that's what they're going to do now. If you're going in one direction... You get kind of a, you have to slow down and kind of... Dr. Wolf, I have to try it. It's better than Halo Infinite. Best shooter on the market. Mm, I'll have to check it out. Probably would play it all where we have a second channel here. I'll stick a link in chat. We play a little bit more mature shooter games on like Fortnite, Overwatch. Probably, I think, I haven't watched any Splitgate um, gameplay, but I think if it has like real guns, not just... Ink here, and paint uh, guns. Uh, We'd probably have to play it over there. Wake it up here. It's kind of vaguely threatening. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the copy machine here does uh, it copies what I'm doing. So if I shoot, oh, that's shoot, that's cool. That's so useful. Uh, it 
throws bombs and I the tester. And tries to deflect blame on his teammates. If I try to deflect blame <laughs> on my teammates, <laughs> does everything that I do. Dutch, uh, when have you ever had to deflect blame? <laughs> it, is it is real guns, okay. Well, real, in quotes. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to check it out sometime. Is it just on PC? I do have a P gaming PC now, but um, a lot of our viewers are on consoles. Um, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, according to their, to their website. Nice. I'll check it out. Is it free to play? So maybe we should move on to the next topic here. You missed the bomb special from from two. That was your favorite. Wait, which one? The the bomb launcher. I do like the bomb launcher. It's it's on my favorite weapon, the blobber deco that I play a lot of. Um, that one's not in the game yet. Oh, look at these cute happy faces. <laughs> It is free to play. Oh, okay, cool. That makes it even better to check out. <laughs> yeah, most of the games I play over on that second channel, Overwatch, is going free to play. With the Overwatch 2 in October. And Fortnite, obviously. This makes it more accessible to more people. <laughs> the roller bombs. Are your other favorite? Ooh, carbon. Ooh, okay, we're going to get to see the... um. The Spider-Man ability, maybe, maybe, maybe. Class, and you've got that up here, uh, which it's is nice. so good. I love that they added that. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up here so we get some new, new territory here. Why should they just make it like push, push a button to clean up? <laughs> They're not using the left or right D-pad options for any more conversation or messages to teammates. hold it down then you can run around with it on the ground and mow people over <laughs> that's great and this particular one uh, with most roller weapons that's going to be a one a one hit splat if you've got it rolling around on the ground uh but this one trades a little bit of power for greater mobility which i love because for for me my play style is really like getting up in people's faces Smashing them and <laughs> look at them go. <laughs> people's faces. That's just game uh, Speaking style. of mobility, too, the this one actually comes with the zip caster, which that's is that's true. Yeah, and one, well, one more point on the uh, show the us the zip caster, Spider Man, Spider Man. Then you do kind of a vertical <laughs> fling that gives you a little bit more range, uh, but it's a narrower spread. I haven't really seen like how the zip caster works before. But yeah, Let's check out the Zipcaster here, which is a brand new special. We've seen it in action, but not how it actually works. I'm really excited about this one as somebody who spends a lot of time with a roller, which is short range and, you know, kind of get pinned down by people with longer range weapons a lot. So let's imagine maybe up on that tower there, there's somebody with a long range weapon kind of pinning me down back here. What the Zipcaster is going to do is going to let me zip around, cling to walls. Oh, you got to aim it yourself. Okay, we didn't know that. There. So you just have a few have moments to there to, to, to like really try to, you could do you like take out a sniper. You gotta be really strategic uh, with it, but. It sends you back to the place you started. So but you super jump back. Looks cool. I feel like maybe for a lot of people that might, they might need, to, that might be tough. It's so short. You're really gonna need to, to hit those shots. <laughs> You can kind of see the little ring shoots out. Well, the auto bomb seems faster to go off, which is probably good. Walk over to it and explode. Maybe, <laughs> maybe so a little awful. bit. I mean, in the best possible way. <laughs> You're the one throwing it. It's just brilliant. All right, so let's show. Seth, you're especially excited for the uh, Spider-Man weapon. Let's go. Wow. Yeah, let's take a look. Agent Ten, you got the free trial. Let's go. Who splats fell with you? Two and three splat fest world premiere coming up mm -hmm. this weekend. Uh, so we wanted to take a look at some of. Did you decide on a splat fest team yet, Agent Ten? And if you've never heard of splat fest before, it's. it's Cassiana, welcome. <laughs> this is early. This is early. We just saw some of the um, gameplay. I think the first time we've seen how it works, actually. The. Uh, now I'm scissors. We've had 
<laughs> what am I call it? The Spider Man, <laughs> the Zipcaster. <laughs> I keep going to call it Grapplink. <laughs> That's something else. That's a splat fast map. <laughs> BBs. That's actually a really good point too. I'm glad you brought that up, Terrence. Too, just for those who who don't know, home, you definitely want to vote for the same thing if you won't be on the same team. We saw some awesome um new single player bowl gameplay earlier. As well. I'm really looking forward to this this weekend. What are we doing, Splatoon two again? Um, but right now, what I might do it. I might do some on Sunday. Sunday we have a variety stream scheduled, but I might do some Splatoon and also some um variety. We're gonna be playing Splatoon three, Splatfest all day Saturday. I think I'm gonna do five hours in the beginning, take a one hour break, and then come back for the tricolors and do like another five hours or so. That's a lot though. <laughs> but I'm I'm so excited. It's all gonna be about this middle Your team Rock Agent Ten. because uh, that controls the access to each side. So that's that's the only way you're gonna get into That's your also team rock. So let's come up here. Yeah, I feel Which is Dutch's gonna... favorite thing. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we get to see more of this map. It's all about I think defending this middle and keeping it controlled. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get into the other base, you're gonna have to come up here and go along this catwalk. Which leaves you kind of exposed from. Ah, uh, okay. If you go cool. Squid form, you see you drop right through it. Yes. Well, there we go. Yeah. And then once you're over here, then you can get back this this way and cause trouble. <laughs> but now, now that you have the zip caster, though. Yeah. <laughs> so for, uh, I think the zip caster is going to be great for maybe taking control of that. Are they going to show the so zip caster see, again here? Uh, you know, imagine somebody's controlling that and dominating you from the, t the center post there. So what are we going to do? Let's get the zip caster here and fly right over you here. Gotta, you got to aim it. Oh, way. it's so cool. Uh, it and you just have a few seconds. What if the timer back starts back when you first powerful. click it? Or... It's all about kind of moving in a triangle. Uh, moment. It's a movement, uh, momentum? set amount of time after you land. I bet you it's when you first click it. Movement? That you like how Splatoon one maps are going to be revamped? Yeah, I'm excited for that too. I didn't, I, ne I didn't ever play Splatoon one. So I get to check all those out. Mahi mahi, I think a lot of people are excited for, especially from the ones that are coming right at launch. And of course, there are many other specials that you'll be, special weapons that you'll get using, you know, depending on the weapons that you have. Kind of works like the jetpack, you gotta watch your landing spot, yeah. You can use it to like, make, get like, make like a strategic move. Like, let's say there's like a sniper with either a charger or now a bow up there. Causing havoc to your team, you might be able to get up there and take them out. From across the map. Hopefully we'll help with um, some spawn camping stuff too. Mahi Mahi scares you. There's so much space to, space to fall. Yeah, that's true. I really like this weapon. I think it's great fun. I'm just... Get some charger gameplay here. Ooh, we're going to see the ink back. Let's go. your classic long range kind of sniper style weapon. You can see the range on this one compared to the other ones. That charge drop is so satisfying. Yeah, and that sound that it makes. <laughs> so this is what it sounds like normally if you're missing, but... If you're missing. <laughs> I feel targeted <laughs> by that call. This weapon is in the spot test as well. Uh, it's cool, though. I with this same build. I seeing someone on my team using this weapon and always just in awe. I know, when you get a good charger on your team, it is, it's like a relief. Because this, this is really for, like, the crafty, skilled... Because you're excited for updates with the, all the new weapons. There's and, gonna be, uh, there's so much new stuff. Even old weapons are going to be totally different, because they're going to have different builds mm. with different subs and specials on them. Sub and special for this one? Yeah, so the sub for this one is... Like a whole new meta. Which, kind of this pyramid-shaped one, uh, you throw it out, and after it settles on the ground for, like, a second, it'll explode. And then, oh, Our bomb time is faster. They seem like maybe they are. The auto bomb seemed like it went off faster to me. Just slightly, but a little bit. Over the crab tank? Really? Okay, here comes the ink fact. I think it's going to catch a lot of people off guard with the amount of ink you can use if you 
use it correctly. <laughs> All right, so this is the ink vac, and what it's gonna do is basically suck up any ink that's being fired at me, and then I can shoot it back and it'll create a big, uh, a big explosion. So this is sucking up all the ink that the copy machine is shooting. And then you got a skill shot. That way. Ooh, oh my gosh, that's big. It's like a rainmaker shot. Church rainmaker shot. <laughs> this charger, like, we, which this charger looks good. It's a lot of ink for like yeah. charger spam. Very fast charge time. And did we explain just in case somebody knows what Dutch is doing right now? Is he's actually inking the ground, mm. so he's building up his special meter that you see on the top right hand screen. Exactly. So just for those who are new or wondering, we get NPCs to fight. <laughs> kind of, fire. yeah, kind of. <laughs> just this robot. Which I guess they said, um. Sucking up all that ink, so I'm not, you know, I'm not getting damaged by it. It's kind of absorbing it. But well, that's if so you fun. Keep getting hit after it's full. That will take you out. So you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Seth, you hope you do that. Kudos, Carnival event later on. Fall guys, definitely. If you if you, if you want to play that on the stream later, make sure you show up right at the beginning. We're gonna do a vote. Is uh, storing your charge, and then you can swim in the ink for a couple seconds. Mm before uh, popping back out and releasing that entire charge shot. Oh, yeah. I always forget about that. So, yeah, you're, you're charging it, and then you swim. And you got the news going on in the corner here. <laughs> All right, so why don't we show off and go to the uh, second stage we want to show, which is Eel Tell Alley. So why don't we do it. cut away from this? Oh, nice. We're going to see another stage. And we'll show that off. Wait, so Dutch, what team were you then? Since oh, we're yeah. both Team Scissors. I'm Team Rock. Yeah, you are still yeah, Team Yeah, don't rock. overthink it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Team Paper it is. <laughs> I feel like you two were fighting over paper initially, and so now you've just completely changed sides, Demetrius. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of Big Man. So <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, yes. No, it's not really a choice of Scissors, it's, it's Big Man. This is longer than that. I thought this was only maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting to see more than I thought we would, though, too. To Eel Tell Alley. Which is exciting. This is um, a different type of stage. Oh, you know, if you haven't already, do me a favor. If you're hyped. About, this is more of like a city for the stream for Splatoon 3. <laughs> the, the thumbs up button, the like button on the stream. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me here this morning. And that was one of the new features as well. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So Watching the treehouse. And you can choose your landing spot as opposed to always spawning in the same spot. Mm. Um, that really makes it a little more dynamic you know maybe you're getting pinned down in your base but you can actually choose yeah but we can't just shoot everyone anywhere in the map approach your <laughs> from a different angle. it's one of the three new techniques for the other one being a squid surge and a squid roll and squid spawn i'm seeing a pattern with these names <laughs> they're going to be names. too obvious about it but <laughs> well, let's take a look at the turf map here uh, we see this is well, this map, map is narrower than, than i thought kind of a lot of the new maps are more wide like an, eel. like an eel but there is a lot of like levels and stuff bridges <laughs> which should help with uh yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> it looks cool i think this has like very much like like this bridge is gonna be like reef vibes <laughs> a lot of places to flank that's because i can get you know the high ground to kind of control this area down here as the other team comes up the middle it's like the reef Maybe but you have really to be able to get past this choke this point this area. bridge be looking down here clear out the pigeon <laughs> i'm absolutely playing scarlet and violet <laughs> when they come out seth I'm so excited for them <laughs> are you yeah this this spot right here gives me access you know i got a clear shot <laughs> i'm gonna be getting violet i think <laughs> where the other team might come out I want to live in the future. Also, purple. I like purple. You're getting Violet too, too, Seth. Let's go. Team Violet. Cassiana is a brush main sneak attack from up top. Let's go. It really is like a Rainmaker. The Ink Vac. It's so, the Ink Vac is so cool. It's like a, a supportability, but it, it, the charge shot gives it also like some serious offense as well. And and it's not just like free offense, like ten missiles or something. You gotta have skill. If you see the name Dutch on the opposing team, be afraid. 
<laughs> or amazed or impressed. All of the above are the correct responses. Well, oh, this is recon mode that we're in right now because there's a timer at the top. You have one hour in recon mode. So you're going to be able to ink in recon mode and not just walk around. That's cool. Be able to try out stuff like is your zip cast routes. It's just such a cool feature. So exciting. Which starter am I getting? Oh gosh, I have not decided yet. Lockers are just something I think a lot of people Um I really like what is it? Sprigatito? Super cute. Um Waxley, is that the one? The ducky? Donald Duck. And this is physical space in the lobby here. That quit delaying. We want Waxley, I'm right, okay. Right, so Seth, you're probably going, um, Quaxley, Donald Duck. <laughs> Agent 10, your amiibo doesn't work yet? Oh, that doesn't totally surprise me. It'll probably work on, on the ninth. Ooh, lockers. It's so fun. This gives me, you know, there's a lot of stuff about Splatoon 3 that's giving me some hope about Animal Crossing, the next Animal Crossing. Can you imagine if we can do that in Animal Crossing? It's a lot of the same development team. That work on Splatoon and work on Animal Crossing games. <gasps> can you even imagine? Also, one thing to know is you can yeah, so fun. Stickers, um, you can actually even change the color of your locker. There's a lot of stuff to add. Ooh. Really, really, really cool. Um, and put weapon, your favorite weapons in there. That's fun, too. Oh, gosh. <laughs> gosh. And you can see other people's lockers. So if you see one that looks something like this in your travels, hate mail this way. It might be Duchess. <laughs> <laughs> All the new online stuff for Splatoon 3 also gives me a lot of hope about Splatoon or the next Animal Crossing game. Is the splash tags, mm. which is another really cool feature. Um, that is also new to the game. Hopefully we get better online stuff with like, <laughs> like the lobbies are going to work here where you just show up on people's things. You could just drop in, visit people's islands or something. There's a chicken boy toy? Wait, what does that mean, Tassana? <laughs> you just found out. Explain, explain. I mean, it could be, if you want. Could be if you want to. That's you. Yeah. You are play. You are number one. Player one. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. <laughs> but there's a lot of cool stuff. And one thing to note, too, is with the lockers and even the splash tags, that there will be um, some season catalogs that come. So expect to have new items uh, to be able to put into your locker, new splash tag stuff, and even some new weapons. So really cool stuff. Or additional weapons, I should say. Um, so additional really weapons? As Wait, just to put in the locker or to use? So with that, we took a look at the what? Splash tag. I have one more thing I wanted to show, and I got it down here. So just give me a moment. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see some amiibos. Oh no! And that is the special edition Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch OLED. Super cool. It's actually oh, chicken bomb, chicken bomb. <laughs> it's a chicken boy. I'm like, what is that? I'm Googling chicken boy and nothing interesting is coming up. Some weird stuff. <laughs> Wind up one. Ooh. That's so expensive. $68. Is that Mickey Mouse on the back? It kind of looks like it, but it's not on the left upper. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Mickey, so... This is the Splatoon 3 Pro Controller as well. Now, this one comes out September. I might be getting this. Maybe not launch, but... I do need one more Pro Controller. Um, My OG one is... has drift in. After, like, 1,500 hours of playtime. Or more. That's it. That's it. That's all we get for today. But very exciting. It's going to be out on the eShops now. But don't go anywhere. We got some Harvestella up next. Okay, we aren't going to watch the Harvestella because I do got a lot of other stuff going on today. But super, super exciting. Um, We'll just vibe here for a sec. And I'm going to wrap things up probably, though. We'll be back this afternoon. For a viewer's choice variety stream, um, it's going to be earlier than usual, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, 20 UTC, 8 p.m. UTC, 
I think that's right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it there, though. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We play Splatoon together and a bunch of other games. Ooh, oh, wait. Well, we're we're going to do a live stream viewing party of this as well. It's going to be my first stream back after my trip next week. I see some awesome gameplay. We'll probably do PBs or something. Or maybe live Turf Wars or P pub, pub Turf Wars or something while we're watching this. So exciting. Okay, I'm going to go though. Thanks again everybody for watching. We'll talk to you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.